What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and I'm gonna be coming at you with another reef tank update. Uh, got, as always with this 125, I'm going all out with it. I got some new fish, some new coral, got a new refugium light, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna be revealing the winner of the Premium Aquatics $25 gift card giveaway. We had a few entries, I think we had around 10, um, so I'm gonna put you guys into a randomizer at the end of the video and we're gonna see who the winner is um, So definitely looking forward to that uh, Good luck to all you guys and then uh, we'll be revealing that at the end of the video So the reef update I'm gonna be going and showing you guys all the new stuff and updating you on a lot of the stuff in here because a lot's changed actually um, This tank I've actually started Dosing. I am dosing um, bulk reef supply, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Uh, I find them to be the cheapest. They give you the most for the money, and the stuff lasts you a long time. Um, and it's just great stuff. Their calculators on their website are dead on accurate. I mean, they tell you what to dose. Your levels will be there if you mix the stuff right and it's great stuff so I highly recommend that but I have started dosing I've been dosing for about a, uh, three or four weeks now um, noticing a little bit of difference in my corals um, and it's all going along really good I'm hoping to make them grow really fast uh, by dosing and I think it'll turn out really good so I'd love to bring you guys with the updates so here I picked up I went to a local uh, saltwater uh, reefers house Bought some um, frags, got a few frags of bird's nest, got a metallic, uh, almost like a metallic green. Uh, pretty cool, he had great prices, awesome, awesome stuff. Got another birds of paradise right there. I love my bird's nest corals, I got this whole colony of them right here. Um, so I, I think with my docent they'll grow a lot faster now. Um, hoping to have huge colonies eventually, I think that'd be cool. Over here is that acro. Ever since I did start doing this thing, is taking off like a weed. It's crazy. This thing grows like crazy. No wonder people like acros so much. They grow so fast. Check out this torch coral too. Looking really good. Tan white tips. Looking awesome. Uh, there's that Aiken down there. Looking good. Looks great under the blue lights. There's this wicked chalice coral. He's getting bigger. Looking good. Uh, what else we got here? Here, the um, sear mist trachea. Looking awesome. The colors on this thing are wicked. Uh, when I seen it, I had to buy it because look at all the green, metallics, flat green. It looks great. Looks awesome. Just a cool coral. There's that devil's hand leather coral. I'm not sure if this one was in the last video, um, but I love. This is like my favorite leather coral, so I had to get one. Um, Look at a really nice piece at the fish store I work at, so I picked it up. Uh, it's looking really good. Looking really cool. There's all my Aphelias. That gold hammer is splitting heads like crazy. I think it's got like five now. Five small ones. Same with that spider hammer back there. Looking really good. Um, check out this meteor shower foot Cyphastria right here. Spreading over this whole rock quickly too, I mean. Eventually, that's why I put it on this rock. I want it to take over the whole rock. I think that'd be awesome. Awesome. Now with this uh, Worldwide Corals uh, Grafted Matapora, it's uh, red and green. I had it up there. I lost some color. I think it was getting too much light, so I moved it down here. Um, it's looking decent. I mean, it's still growing. It just doesn't have as much color as it did when I bought it. So I'm hoping this guy will regain its color down here. Um, so yeah. I put it on my other red monocap because this thing is growing. This right now is the fastest growing coral in my tank. I Daily, I could visualize the difference of this coral. It's crazy how fast this thing grows. Um, so eventually it's going to play it out. It's, it's going to look great. Absolutely great. Um, up here, another uh, chalice I got from my local fish store. You guys notice sometimes I have uh, receding dying corals in my tank. I rescue them from my fish store, bring them home, try to revive them. Um, so this guy, I mean, it's looking decent. Um, trying to get him to grow back completely though. I don't know, it's kind of like a metallic um, blue. 
and purple, looking pretty good. Um, here's that C fan, move them up here. And if you guys notice, there is no longer an anemone in this tank. That anemone, the bubble tip anemone, I sold him um, because he was just taking up too much space. The clownfish wasn't really hosting him that much because I think he was too high up. And you know, I'd rather have space for more coral, different types, uh, and just more aquascaping room. Uh, because that thing took up way too much space. I'd rather just have a bunch of new space for stuff like this. I got a Hulk, neon green Hulk acro up here. Looking awesome. Here is a little piece of Sunrise Monopora. Just a really wicked coral. The guy that I bought it from, he had a whole colony of this stuff and it looks great. So I definitely got a piece of that. It's gonna look awesome once it starts growing pretty good. I haven't had those things for too long. And then here is a uh, Sunset uh, Mystic Monopora. Looking great. Hoping to get this guy plate over this whole rock. I think that'd be awesome because this is one of the coolest Monoporas. Looking really good there. And here's a super neon orange uh, or red mushroom right here. Got it from my fish store. I think it was really cool. So <laughs> he actually wasn't attached to anything. So I had to put him in a little basket with a bunch of rocks and he had decided to attach to this shell. So I glued him here. He's looking pretty good. He's not open all the way. Um, but I haven't had them there for long. Um, here's an Echinata, another one I rescued from my fish store because it was receding. Uh, he's looking good, he's growing back pretty good, uh, looking pretty good. He doesn't have too much color, but heck, he's growing pretty good. Here's my fox coral. Lights haven't been on for too long, so this guy's not open too much, but this is a really cool guy. It was actually, when I bought him, it comes with, he had a lot of glass anemones on him, so I've been killing those guys off. I haven't seen any lately. So that's a cool coral. I've always wanted to have one of those. Here's also a uh, pink passion zoas, frag of those guys. The heads just keep popping out of this guy. It's crazy. Uh, what's it got? Seven, eight heads now. I got it when I had these big three. It's just crazy. I got to get more zoas. I want to fill this whole rock with them. I think that'd be cool. Uh, here's an aqua blue uh, trachea picked up. Really cool looking. I like the patterns. He wasn't too expensive, so I bought him. Looking good down there. Check out this friggin' red gun of Pora. Looks awesome. This is like one of my favorite corals in the tank because the color of it. Just crazy. Uh, now a lot of people don't always have success with red gun of Pora, but you know what? It seems to do really good in my tank. Uh, same with this green. I love the gun of Pora, so... And this red one, I'm just loving this thing. It's just a crazy colors and crazy looking. It's just a really cool. Here's a new, a few frags I'm fragging off. That was a piece of pavona core, grew over that whole rock in a matter of a couple months. Uh, there's some GSP and then another pavona. Cause this pavona core was just growing insanely fast. Uh, keep breaking off frags, selling them. It's a pretty cool coral. It's pretty cool. And here is the tube anemone. Looking good as always. He hasn't grown too much. I, <laughs> I think he's pretty much reached fully grown size because this thing is gigantic. Uh, he's actually not too big right now because the lights are on, but at night he just gets huge. And then the black one's not out right now and there's the little green one. All right, now I'll bring you along to the some of the new fish. First thing you probably notice, boom, is this mimic tang right here. Always wanted one of these guys. I think they're one of the coolest tangs uh, From their juvenile stages when they're all yellow, which is this guy now to when they grow up With some shades of like brown and tan and yellow just a really really cool looking tang They're not very expensive and they don't get as big as some other species. So really excited to have that guy in here He's doing really really good um, Had him for about a week He just looks great He's getting along with the hippo tang if you see him in there. The hippo tang's growing like crazy. Loves the seaweed over there. And there's the Melanaris wrasse. I want to get more wrasse in here. I want a green chorus wrasse and I want a yellow chorus. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, there's the puffer fish. There he is. He's been good so far. 
He hasn't attacked anything, hasn't chewed any coral, hasn't chewed up any shrimp or anything or hermit crabs yet. That could also be why uh, he doesn't really have too much teeth yet because he's still a baby. Um, but he's, uh, he's being pretty good so far. I'm liking the personality of these guys because who doesn't, you know? Cool, cool fish. There's the blue jaw trigger fish staring at me down there. He's doing good. He's not as shy as he used to be. He just doesn't like the camera. There he is. Really, really cool fish. Cool. There's the clownfish without his anatomy. I don't think he, he doesn't really seem to mind or care. Um, but he's getting huge. The mascot of the channel right here. Ah, uh, who else? There's the white-tailed dotty back. Check out the care guide on this guy, my newest care guide. Um, the little green chromis, the Petco green chromis. Doing good, he's the only guy left, as I said. There is the hippo tang. Looking awesome. Love this guy. Again, had to have one. I think they're so cool. No ick. Never, ever seen a sign of ick on this guy either. So... Really, uh, really psyched about that one. Super cool fish. And then there's uh, Two Face, One Eyed Angel Fish. Looking good. Gotta feed these guys, they don't want food. And then there is the Coral Banded Shrimp. I actually lost my cleaner shrimp. I don't know what happened to him. I just found him uh, laying on the ground over here one morning. I, he, he died. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, everything, the water quality is really good. Then nothing is out of whack in this tank. But you know how those guys are, they just drop dead out of the blue. So it's weird. I, yeah, I love that guy too. I think they're cool, but he didn't make it. Nope. But I had him for years. I had him for a good two years, probably. And then he just passed on, so that kind of sucks. I'll probably get another one eventually. And then if we go underneath here, you'll notice a new refugium light. This old one, don't buy that. <laughs> I know I told you guys to go buy it because it's cheap. It's from the Menards brand, but it gives off really bad light rays. So it grows all the nuisance bacteria and algae and everything. So just disgusting. And it didn't really go the Chato. So I got some new Chato. I went through this whole refugium and cleaned it up. Uh, it's looking really good now. Uh, I, I'm seeing amphipods and copepods everywhere. I uh, added some extra flow in here. Put the marine pure block in between one of the baffles. Uh, as I said, got some new Chato in there. And this is the innovative marine uh, Chato Max LED. They're really small, um, but it's supposed to grow Chato like crazy. And it's, uh, it's one of the more inexpensive lights that you could buy. So that's why I got it. Um, so I'm really hoping to see good results out of this one. I think it's going to work and it definitely looks awesome. Makes the sump look super cool. It's always the reef octopus. If you didn't see my last video, go check that out. Cleaning the skimmer on that. I cleaned it today, that's why it's not dirty. Change the filter sock, but I love this skimmer. It's crazy. Uh, it's, it works. It's a tank. Definitely one of the best things I bought for this tank. Let's get to that giveaway. All right, guys, here are the people that are going to be in the drawing for the giveaway. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Paolo714, LG Outdoors, uh, Reef KPR, Brett Olive, Trevor Massenberg, David DeLay, Rainbow Loom Tutorials, Justice Pennington, Going through only the ones that are on that video. Max Penrod, Jeremy Curtis, Sharon Riebenstorf, and Stefan number one. All right, good luck to all you guys. Uh, wish you the best of luck. Let's put you guys in the randomizer. All right, there's everybody. I got random.org. There is everybody right there. Good luck, guys. Here we go. The winner is Paolo714. All right, you got that $25 gift card to 
premium aquatics. So uh, what I'm gonna do is if you comment on this video or I'll comment on the other one where you left the original comment, I'll comment to you, ask for your email address, and then I'll send that to premium aquatics. They'll contact you and then they'll send out your package or they'll give you the $25 gift card. So thanks everybody for entering that. It was a super cool. Uh, thanks for everybody for the giveaway. Uh, thanks to Premium Aquatics and Paolo714. You got that $25 to spend on their website. So thank you guys all for entering. This was really cool. Uh, first giveaway on my channel. Uh, it turned out really good. So thanks to everybody. Uh, leave a comment down below how you liked the video. If you got any questions on reef tanks or anything, uh, leave a comment down there. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram at Eagle Aquatics, and I'll see you next time, guys.